What would happen if we attempted to play sports in the dark? No! Did you see that? Tried to trick out the mall. Here we go! And took on rolling in reverse. Whoa! Oh, which way is left? Whoa! Back it up. You're not going anywhere. Got a pump! Ali is crazy and cool at the same time. He thinks of stuff you'd never really come up with. I describe Jackson as funny, wild, and totally nuts. Hand me the banana and no one will get hurt. CJ is the ultimate in cool. Ah! He pushes everything to its limit, whereas I just want to see stuff explode. I totally had you last night. If that sun didn't go down, I totally would have won. What are you talking about, dude? I'm the comeback king. Getting dark is the only thing that saved you. I wish there was a way to keep playing in the dark so we would never have to stop any of our game. That would be awesome. Then not even the sun going down could stop us. I'm so down. What's the one sport that could have major consequences for not seeing where you're going? Football! Whoa. Dude, what would happen if we tried to play football in the dark? Playing sports is always fun, but what happens when it gets too dark outside to play? Game over. So today we're gonna try to change that by simulating nighttime with blindfolds and trying to get our football on. All right, so here's what's going on. Now me and Jackson are gonna run through this entire obstacle course and Ollie's gonna be playing referee. First things first, the tackle pads. We're gonna drag those things all the way from there to here where Ollie says stop. From there, it's up and over three row hurdles. Boom, boom. Boom, from here, the big tire. You gotta pick this thing up, roll it all the way over here until he says stop. Now the lab dudes from there are gonna be throwing sports drinks at us and we're gonna try and kick them up over the upright right there. Moving on. From there, you run full speed as fast as you can to the coach tackle where you're gonna go boom, run through him. The first person to get through this entire obstacle course and tackle their coach is the winner. I got this. See, I may be blindfolded, but I'm gonna be like a football Jedi and use my other senses to guide me. I already know I'm faster than Jackson, but for my winning strategy, I'm gonna focus all my energy on my ears and listen to Ollie's instructions. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. Three, two, one! Hey. And hold it! Whoa, Jackson, go to the back! I knew that blindfold was gonna be a problem. I couldn't see anything. You got it, you got it, now push. Push, Jackson, CJ, CJ, stop. Once they finally pushed those pads all the way, it was time for the three jump rope hurdles. Jump! Jackson forward, jump! CJ, jump! Ali really needs to give better instructions. Jackson, jump! CJ got tangled, opening the door for Jackson. They're halfway through, and it's neck and neck. Watch out, CJ is at the tires. Flip it up. Jackson, you're at your tires. So I grabbed that tire and just started rolling. And I hope it was in the right direction. CJ, stop, put the tire down. I grabbed my tire and I had no control of it. It was like it had a mind of its own. Whoever kicks the sports ring through the uprights has to charge to the finish and take out the coach for the win. Catch it and kick. Jackson, catch it and kick. Jackson, one, two, three, catch. Jackson, catch. <laughs> Lab dudes, throw it to my feet, not my face. Second kick, he has another sports bottle in his hand. CJ, go straight, straight, and now jump, jump, and oh, straight down, CJ wins, CJ wins, and Jackson comes in flying and saves yes! it, this yes! was awesome! I usually don't listen to half of what Ollie says, but I'm glad I did this time, because he came through big time. I blame all these lame directions for my defeat. That and the fact that I couldn't really see anything, Congratulations, you guys! Ah! You guys won! Ah, it's so cool! <laughs> Yo, sports are all about vision, so how can we absolutely defeat the darkness to see what's around us and get our game on? Well, we gotta see in the dark, but how? I'm thinking Commando, because they use dope technology to see in the night. That's right. We could use night vision goggles. If that's the case, I want to get my hoop on and prove I'm the best baller day or night. To really be able to play sports in the dark, you need to be able to see in the dark. 
So the lab dudes hooked us up with no joke night vision goggles. So we could try to shoot hoops in complete darkness. Lights out. Dude, what would happen if we tried to play basketball in the dark? CJ and I are gonna be taking half court shots. And the first one to make it wins. Therefore making me your winner. First try. So how do we decide who goes first? Perfect, we got a basketball. CJ, pick heads or tails? What's he well, what is heads on a basketball? Just, just pick. Okay, I pick tails. Oh, you pick tails? What do you pick, Jackson? I pick basketball. All right. Oh, basketball! Yeah! And Jackson wins it! How do you determine that? Choose. I get to choose. Trick question, there's no tails or heads on a basketball. My technique, I'm gonna use my regular basketball shot. I mean, it always works for me in daytime. Gentlemen, man your basketball rack. All right, Jackson, you start it off. Oh! Did I get it? I, did I get it? You missed by a mile. Hey, Ali, I figured, I finally figured out how to like adjust these so they work. I realized that they were off. Jackson's first shot was way off. Step aside, Jackson. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh. short! Jackson with, oh, oh. so close! That was Hitting close. the backboard. Night vision is a little bit harder than I thought. I'm gonna go old school with the granny shot. Oh! DJ almost, dude, the granny's working! I think the net doesn't like it. Jackson with his Jackson oh, oh, got it, hit the rim and just bounced off. We were both getting closer to making it, so I had to get inside CJ's head. What is that? That's my face. Oh, watch out! I'm about to make this one. All right, I'm honing in on this basket like Kobe with a flashlight and shooting granny style. Oh! Coming up, mall madness. Here we go! Kicking it in reverse. Run faster! Okay. And we totally hang tough. Oh. We're using night vision to master playing hoops in the dark. First one to make a half court shot takes it. Watch out. I'm about to make this one. All right. Granny shot. Oh! In the dark, with night vision goggles at half court. You have serious night vision skills, bro. Thank you. Dude, CJ, the winner of the half court in the dark shootout. So, dude, what would happen if we try to play football in the dark? Jump and oh! Hunt, 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 score! And, dude, what would happen if we tried to play basketball in the dark? Oh! Who did that? We shoot the lights out. Dude, I'm always down for the mall, but it takes forever. Oh, yeah, dude, the mall needs some serious dude upgrades. I mean, even the food court could be better. Yeah, it's almost impossible to get a fast meal. <laughs> and good luck trying to get a place to sit down. It's like a crazy battle for the next open table. Now, that is a mall problem that needs to be addressed. Well, if we have to battle for a table, we might as well make it a real battle. I know. Let's turn the food court into the knight's court. And joust as knights for the honor of eating tasty deliciousness. So we're trying to solve a classic mall problem. How to decide who gets a table at the food court. We have gathered here today to have a battle. Knight CJ versus Knight Ali. The rules are simple. The first knight to disarm the other knight gets to sit at Jackson's round table with Jackson, that's me. Dude, what would happen if we tried to joust at the mall? To get our food court jousting on, the lab dudes hooked us up with two motorized jousting vehicles with two mannequin knights attached. Then CJ and Ollie had to figure out which mall item they wanted to use to disarm the other dude for food court glory. My jousting lance of choice, the classic plastic mall tree. I'm gonna be hitting Ollie before he even gets close to me. CJ's done for. I'm gonna knock that tree out of his hand with the perfect mall joust. The wardrobe rack, with all the clothes hanging off it, you'll be totally confused. CJ Knight, yes. are you ready? Yay. Ali Knight, are you ready? For King and Country! What? For King and Country. What does that mean? Yes. Okay. Let the battle begin! Charge! Go! That yes. was on collision. Right off the gate, I smash into CJ, knocking off his shield. You have no chivalry, CJ! 
I don't even know what chivalry means. All these legs are broken off this night. No! All these mannequin legs are gone. I got this. After that damaging hit, I'm in trouble. So I gotta do the only thing I can. Run! He's chasing him. Come here. He's chasing Stop him. Stop running. Yo, Ali, what are you running for? Ali is very elusive. I'm going to get you. Never! It's now or never to end this battle. Plus, I'm really hungry. He's right behind me. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, CJ comes out of nowhere. Up. Ali, you completely fell down. You were disarmed and even your vehicle went down. So in this case, the winner is CJ! Oh! Oh! He disarmed your man! I was victorious. And now it was finally time to sit and eat at the table. Ugh. It's gonna be great because we got the last seat. And this is the round table. It's a really special table. I eat here every single time. This this table is square. Okay, so what's the one thing at the mall that needs the most improvement? The mall music. Dude, the music is horrible, but the thing that needs to get hooked up the most is getting out of the mall. Dude, I feel you. There's like tons of people all packed in the escalators and elevators, all headed to the same exit door. All right, so if everyone's at the real exit, why don't we make our own dude exit? What, like exiting out the window? Close. The window display. We'll crash right through it. We'll drive right through it. Dude. What would happen if we tried to crash through the mall? Forget doors. We're gonna make our own exit by crashing a golf cart out of a mall display window. So the lab dudes hooked us up with the reinforced golf cart with seatbelts, pads, and goggles. That window display glass is more than an inch thick. So according to my exponential triangulation, we have to hit it going at least 15 miles an hour to generate enough speed and momentum to crash through it and get outside. An exit as crazy as this requires a driver who's just as crazy. So that's why Jackson's driving. I'm riding shotgun to make sure we hit 15 miles per hour. And CJ will be in the back to help keep us on course. Dude, let's leave this mall. Come on, all right. Three, two, two one. Let's go! Woo! The only thing I can do right now is put the pedal to the metal and hold on. We're at seven miles an hour. Jackson, speed up. We're running out of track, and we still had to hit 15 miles an hour if we wanted to even have a chance of breaking through that glass. 10 miles per hour. We're closing in on the glass entrance, and I think we have enough speed to make it through. Here we go! We're trying to speed up leaving the mall by driving a golf cart through a window display and right outside. Perfect plan but only if we can hit 15 miles an hour. Woo! Yeah! We're at 15 miles an hour. That's it, Jackson. Here we go! That was crazy, bro. That, that was, was insane. That was the coolest way I've ever left them all. It was tunnel vision. That's all I saw. Everything was just going past me. The glass just got closer and closer. Boom! Crashed through it, and then I don't remember anything. I don't even remember what I just said. Wow. So, dude, what would happen if we tried to joust at the mall? The knights take the day. And, dude, what would happen if we tried to crash through the mall? Here we go! A shattering display. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Oh, that's Dude. crazy. <laughs> wow. Dude, these videos are super hilarious. I love these reverse clips. So why don't we post our own reverse video? Yeah, but I just don't get why we would shoot it and then put it in reverse. Why don't we just do stuff in reverse for ourselves? I am reverse down, but what are we going to do? Dude, we could race in reverse. Now that would be fun. So we're out to do things in reverse for real. CJ and Ali are gonna have a race on treadmills in reverse. And the winner of the race gets a yeah port. It's trophy in reverse. Dude, what would happen if we tried to race in reverse? Treadmills, gentlemen! Dude, my plan is to pump my legs to run as fast as I can, like you see in cartoons. 
I'm gonna run reverse circles around Ali. CJ has mini legs, so I'm gonna go with the opposite and use long reverse strides. Like an ostrich. Three, two, one, reverse! All right, there we go. As soon as the treadmill got going, I started with my long strides. It's not easy running like an ostrich. Backwards. I wanna make CJ eat my dust. Both runners are even. It's neck and neck. Ollie is way better at reverse races than I thought he was gonna be. So I had to get in his head. I challenged him to a reverse staring contest. Oh, he blinked. It's not blinking, it's I staring. Ostrich down. Now is my time to pull away and win this. DJ distracted me with his reverse games. I lost my footing and totally bailed. But I got right back up and started plotting my comeback. The final stretch. 10 feet behind him, Ollie, run faster. With 10 feet left, I threw it into overdrive. I didn't reverse race this far to lose it at the end. Four feet, three feet, two feet, one feet. All right, you're done, you're done. What a reverse close race. It was neck and neck all the way. It was a very close race, but the winner is... Ali! Yes! I am the reverse champ! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Dude, going in reverse is always funny, but how can we make it even funnier? Yeah, you know, we've all delivered food on our bikes for extra dough, right? Yeah. yeah. If we delivered food on our bike in reverse, that could quite possibly be the most funniest thing we've ever done. We shall not only deliver food, but happiness to the masses. Check this bike. To deliver food in reverse, the lab dudes hooked us up with a three-seater bike with major catapult action. We have to deliver food to 10 hungry lab dude houses in under a minute all while riding a bike in reverse. Dude, what would happen if we tried to deliver food in reverse? As if delivering takeout in reverse isn't hard enough, this street is filled with junk. A mannequin playing hockey, garbage cans, and a stuffed gorilla in a chair. Really? What kind of neighborhood is this? My role in this is being on the back seat, so it's my job to make sure this bike stays in motion and we complete this task in under a minute. I'm sitting in the sidecar. I'm in charge of launching all the food to the hungry lab dudes. My job is easily the most important. See, I have to steer down the road and avoid all the obstacles in my place. Let's do it. All right, three, two, one, go. Let's go. All right, we see the first one. Heads back. Made it. Yeah. Ollie's handling the catapult. CJ's putting in the power and I'm steering? We're like the perfect backwards delivery team. Fire! Fire! Perfect! This is the curve! Oh, whoa! Oh, Move it! The trash can! We were going great until we hit that trash can. We don't have time to run over trash cans, Jackson. Jackson, what are you doing? Oh, Jackson, right. steer! I completely forgot that we're going reverse. It's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Got to pull! Watch out! Fire! We only have 15 seconds left, and if we're gonna make it, CJ and Jackson have to help with the food launching. Jackson, watch out! Give me some more, give me some more, give me there some more. There you go. It's going very, very There you go, sir. We got one more left in the catapult. With five seconds left, we have one more delivery to make. And I don't know if we can make it. Catapult away! Fire. Dude, we did it! Yeah! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! So we got all the lab dudes their food. 10 out of 10 lab dudes were satisfied. That's like 95%. Dude, takeout delivery was crazy fun. Yeah. But what would be the ultimate in reverse? What if we got a bakery truck and we pulled a demolition derby in it in reverse? Wow. Reverse. <laughs> Dude, what would happen if we tried a demolition derby in reverse? <laughs> the lab dudes hooked us up with a reverse obstacle course that is scattered with baked goods all over the place that I'm gonna be hitting with a bakery truck. We have 60 seconds to go through this course and take out every single one of these stations, bro. We have muffins, we have flour bombs, and then oh. we have bread, we have gallons of milk, we have eggs, we also have pies. So the final baked good that we have to demolish is a four-layer cake. I'm buckling in while the lab dudes will safely harness Jackson and Ollie to the back of the truck. Well, they'll act as my eyes, times two. Jackson and I are gonna be yelling out directions, left, right, left, right, but I don't know if Jackson knows his left and rights. 
All right, you ready, CJ? Let's do it. Go, CJ! Go! Go! Get him, get him right there! Go! So CJ guns it, and boom, we hit the muffins. Muffins went everywhere. To the right, to the right! right. That's the flower! When we hit that flower, it was like we collided with a massive smoke bomb. Left, left! Oh, which way is left? The flower exploded all over the inside of the truck, making it almost impossible to see. And that's not good when you can't see anything and you're trying to drive a truck backwards. Keep going! With 30 seconds left, we still have three tables standing. Loud, loud, loud. We're coming to the eggs, and I only know one way to take them out. Swing and drop kick Ollie style. DJ, go! Whoa! 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 We totally nailed that cake. It was like we were wedding crashes. That was crazy. How'd I do? Dude, you did amazing. Look awesome. at this. I'm so proud of you, bro. That Dude, was the that was funniest awesome. thing I've ever seen. All right, but you know what's even funnier? What? what? A pie in the face. No. Yeah. Oh! You can't tell me. You can't tell me. That's not funny. So, Duke, what would happen if we tried to race in reverse faster? The reverse of failure. Duke. What would happen if we tried to deliver food in reverse? Yeah. Sir! Lunch gets launched. And dude, what would happen if we tried a demolition derby in reverse? Ah! Fresh baked destruction. Ah! Check the catch, and it's good. So today, we learned that sports in the dark can be a go. Oh, no, do you see that? The fastest exit can be a crash. Ah! Best way forward could be backwards. Whoa. 